Well, there's only one day left for candidates to qualify for Savannah City Council election. As of today, some big names have yet to do so. WJCL 22 News' Zandy Cole joins us now live from City Hall. Andy, what have you learned? Hey, good evening, Shannon. To run for city council, you first have to declare your intent. So far, 28 people have done so, but only 18 have officially qualified for this election. According to the city, candidates must pay the equivalent of 3% of the position's salary to qualify for the mayoral race. That's $1,710 for aldermen. It's $750. All week, candidates have been stopping by City Hall to pay their dues, but incumbent Alicia Miller Blakely has yet to officially qualify. Neither has Keisha Gibson Carter, who's running for mayor. We reached out to both of them today, but neither responded. Let's take a look at who has qualified. Incumbent Van Johnson so far is the only person to qualify to run for mayor. Two people have qualified for post one. Only one has qualified in post two. One person is qualified in District 1, and everyone in District 2 has paid their tab. District 3 has seen four people, including incumbent Linda Wilder Bryant, qualify. Nick Palumbo was the only person to declare interest and qualify in District 4. Two people have qualified in District 5, and three of the four people have qualified in District 6. Well, I think it's just showing who's serious about it. It's really a uh, a nominal 3% fee of actually the salary of the preceding uh, council, and that's just to defray any administrative costs that uh, are dealt with on behalf of any city. And candidates have until 4.30 tomorrow afternoon on Friday to officially qualify for this race. We'll be keeping an eye on that list and bring it to you when we can. For now, reporting outside City Hall, I'm Andy Colt, WJCL 22 News. All right, Andy, thanks so much for that update tonight.